Let's go to left back. My top five, Chase Gasper in Minnesota. Sam Vines. Okay, I have another U23 player in there. Sam Vines. Ali Adnan, Milton Valenzuela, Kai Wagner. Adam. Uh, Before you go, yep. give me your list and then give me your actual list because I know what you've done here. <laughs> you don't like my list? No, I want your actual everyone, list. So everyone on that list moves up and then I have one that would slide into five. Um, that's that's awful. So, so what I have just to see Andrew's reaction is five at Ryan, Ryan Hollingshead, four, unfortunately, Ali Adnan. I couldn't put him at one. Um, <laughs> three, Milton Valenzuela, two, Kai Wagner, and number one, Andrew's favorite player of all time, Patrick Segrist. Um, I, like I said, I don't disagree, but give me your real list. So my real list is I had the same – I had Chase Gasper at five, and then everyone else moves up one. Okay. I'm a, okay. Connor. I need to replace my five one because I forgot to replace that once. We talked about what this list was going to be. Sure. Um, so I'll leave that one open for now. I put Milton Valenzuela at four, Ryan Hollingshead at three, Kai Wagner at two, and Elliot not at one. We're, we're all well aware that Ryan Hollingshead plays wing, right? He's not actually an outside back. Like we're I don't even know what team he plays for. But for yeah. MLS fantasy purposes, he's like – that. He's exactly, a Connor. <laughs> I, ref- I refuse to put Ryan ha- Hollingshead in this list because he plays striker. Like, he's not an outside back. Um, That's fair. I think – Connor, I think Elliot Nan above Kai Wagner is bold. I understand why you did it because Kai Wagner was hurt most of the year. Uh, yeah. But when he played – He's been the le- the best left back since Kamar left. I don't think there's any any arguing that. And there he the Philly has only lost two of the eighteen games that he played last year. I just don't know how he's going to come back from injury. And sure. I I also like kind of like what you were saying. I like Vancouver as a sneaky good team I this year. I agree. And I think, it'll be really I think fun. yeah, and I think Ali and I could benefit from that. Absolutely, absolutely. No no disagreements there. Um, I understand why you did it. I I just find it hard to put Valenzuela at, at three after being so solid, you know? His his defensive numbers were – I mean, I was looking at the same numbers I mentioned before for the right backs. And sure. his, if out of all the ten fullbacks I had on the list, his was the worst. So um, that had me concerned. I mean, I, I know he's – very talented going forward. I don't know how he would be in defense. Granted, he has a ridiculous team around him this year, so maybe that can make up for it. Sure, sure. No uh, no arguments there. Um, yeah, Chase Gasper is just really good. Like, he, I'd, I'd never see somebody, like, with, a, with an issue that Chase Gasper made a mistake. Sam Vines was the other one. The reason I put him up there was um, – he is on the verge to, um, I think, make a move to, like, a low-level Europe team. So he's going to be playing out of his mind to make sure he gets it. That's the reason I have him on there. Um, he was okay, not great in USA's loss to Honduras. But um, I think he has a pretty good year this year, I think. But, no, I will not put Ryan Hollingshead on that list. Sorry. Fine. That's no, just because he came in last place in fantasy. Stop. <laughs> I didn't pay attention for the last three months. Not my uh-huh. fault. You should have picked Ryan Hollingshead. Stop it. 